Hey guys, Thunderset here, and I usually don't feel the need to show when I do my replays, but uh, Daddy DK came up with a very similar ninja deck to this ninja deck, so I just want to show when my replays were made way back in February 1st. But uh, let's get to the deck. So we get new ninja cards. They're kind of a trap, guys. Some of them are strong, some of them aren't. They're all very interesting. The main boy is Hanzo though, guys. Hanzo, when he's normal summon, you get a search a trap or spell. When he's special summon, you get a search a monster. So he's what this deck all revolves around, which means my monster cards, guys. You've seen me use my monster cards to get Stratos. Three copies of Stratos, then just pepper in some heroes. Here we're doing the same thing for Hanzo. Three copies of Hanzo, then you just pepper in some ninjas. We're also using three higher level ninjas that don't really get in our way. Just three copies for boss monsters. And uh, of course three copies of Transformation, a very old UR that we got way back in the day. And some older cards like Alchemy, Notebook, and I believe Shadow Ceiling is an old card. Some of the newer cards we got is like Ninja Art. Mirage Transformation, Tribute 1 Ninja, then target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon to the field. It is also treated as a ninja while the monster is face up on the field. When it leaves, destroy it just like all the others. And then we got the brand new Super Transformation. Activate this card by targeting one ninja monster you control, one face up monster your opponent controls. Send them to the graveyard, special summon one dragon dinosaur or sea serpent. So dinosaur would be our yellow dragon ninja. So you Destroy, or it's not even destroy. You send one of your opponent's cards to the graveyard, bring out your yellow dragon ninja. He has some effects to destroy spell cards that usually you're probably never going to use. But uh, he's still 3k boy to get over. Very, very hard to do. So these are all very situational. We're also using ceiling, which is tribute one ninja monster, banish one monster your opponent controls, and they can't use that spell or trap zone. It's a, it's a little useful, it's not the most useful cards, but they're all very situational along with this uh, field spell. The field spell is a little better. If a ninja monster is summoned to your side of the field, target one ninja monster or ninja art card in your graveyard, add it to your hand, cannot be activated this turn, all sorts of great stuff. So my point is these are all great one shots guys, I just have one copy of them. They're all searchable by Hanzo, so the point is get to Hanzo. You got my monster cards, you get to Hanzo quick. All you need are six level four or lower monsters. So what are the six we're using? We're using Upstart Golden Ninja, guys. Are you wondering what I did with my UR Dream Ticket? Well, you're looking at him. I had no golden Upstart Ninjas, so I got one with a gold or a Dream Ticket. Once per turn, send one trap card to the graveyard from your hand. Special summon one lower. One level 4 lower ninja monster from your deck in face up defense position or face down pos defense position. So, you can throw away a trap card. You can special summon Hanzo in defense position. That gives you a search of a monster. Or, you can special summon Shazank in face down defense position. And then his monster removal is live. Now, Shazank is a ninja card. He counts for all the ninjas. With transformation, he can only turn into a dragon ninja because he's level 3 so you gotta keep it there on him so we're using upstart, shazank, we have sasuke who will destroy a defense position monster that's face up we have uh, ibisu who is so so strong once per turn if your opponent if you control face up ninja monster other than this one you can activate this effect return the same number of opponent's spell or trap cards equal to the number of ninja monster you use you have so think of it like uh, fortune lady wind if your opponent has three trap cards and you only have three or even one trap card and you only have uh, two fortune ladies on the field, you can't destroy them. Same with this. If you have three ninjas on the field, your opponent only has two spell cards, you can't return them. But he's still crazy strong when your effect is matching up. So that's the idea, guys. You get to Hanzo really, really fast. You get your transformation to get your boss monsters out. Or you search one of your more dicey art cards, take them out. All the meanwhile, we're making plays with our lower ninjas. I forgot to mention uh, yellow ninja, guys. This card is normal summon or flip face up. You can special summon one 
Level 4 Lower Ninja from your hand in attack position or face down defense position. So you can normal summon Yellow Ninja, special summon Shazank in face down p defense position. So Shazank goes great in this deck. The only way he'd be better is if he was level 4 for transformation, but he's level 3. Still gets a dragon out, still not bad. Very, very great stuff. And other than that, guys, you're just really choosing what kind of cards you want. Even when you start off with Hanzo, if you have another monster card in your hand, you can just normal summon into a notebook. Notebook can bring out alchemy, that's a plus two. Very fast, very good stuff. But I feel like it's not strong enough for ninjas to be top tier again. It still has a lot of inherent weaknesses. So don't go too, too crazy over three Hanzo yet, guys. Let it mull over a little. Uh, I'm not really digging this box. If this box is gonna impress me. It's gonna be the melody cards, the whole new archetype. So we'll we'll yet to see. But uh, other than that, this might be a skippable box, guys. But I hope you enjoy. Brand new ninjas. Ninjas are a very cool archetype that've been around for a while. So I hope you guys enjoy. And thanks for watching. Okay, here's Shizu going first. My monster cards. We got an upstart ninja, we got a Sasuke, we did not get a Grandmaster, so we're going to normal summon yellow ninja into an upstart. Upstart's going to throw away our Mirage transformation, bring out a Shazank face down, that's the beauty of upstart, coupled with Shazank. Our opponent's going to use a twin barrel and destroy our face down Shazank, swing over our upstart ninja, what the heck just happened? We're going to summon a Sasuke, swing right over the boy. Our yellow ninja gets hit with Fiendish Chain though, so he can't attack. Our opponent sets another card. Here we use Ibisu. Remember what I said. We have three ninjas, which means we can't return two back row. We swing into a Blast Spider, so it's pretty clear what he is with Desperado. We're going to transform the Sasuke he's trying to destroy. Bring out a Red Dragon Ninja, but we do unfortunately miss the timing because of Blast Spider's effect. But it's good we brought out Red Dragon Ninja because we can't afford to lose our Black Dragon Ninja. So once he gets destroyed by that second spider. Now before I summon my Hanzo, I use Ibisu to return those two. Now this boy's free from that fiendish chain. I kind of misplay, or not even kind of, I super misplay. I forgot Notebook can't send monsters from the field. I was going to try to send uh, one of my boys from the field to activate Notebook. It does not work like that. They have to be in your hand. You would throw away a monster from your hand, bring out an alchemy, get a plus two. But meanwhile, we're swinging past a Kiteroid from our enemy. He sets a monster, sets two back row, we get a transformation. He has the locomotive, giving him some plus ones. There's that same fiendish chain. Now we hit him with the Ibisu. He sets another back row, which means Ibisu's still alive, guys. We're gonna return all these. Now here, he tries to stop Ibisu's effect. Watch this play, guys, as well. So now we're gonna transform Ibisu. That means his effect is not negated. His effect is fully gonna go down. We're just gonna get rid of all three of those back row cards freeing up every one of my monsters. We even could have banished that face town monster if we were truly scared of a Desperado. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here's Alexis Rhodes going second. Gotta love my monster card. She's using Balance, which is also a very good skill to control your drawing. Uh, this, as for this Fire Ninja, I eventually replaced him with Upstart Ninja. I had to use my uh, dream ticket, and I kind of didn't want to, but eventually felt it was worth it. So here I was trying to yellow ninja, got Fiendish Chain. Oh, and I eventually changed this uh, ninjutsu art of decoy, which kind of sucks for uh, ceremonial sealing, the one that banishes. It's a little better. So here our opponent's using Adoration from a poly after Fiendish Chaining our yellow ninja. We're going to transform into the black dragon ninja throw away our cards. So this card would have been the same as if it were ceiling. We banish Adoration, normal summon Hanzo. Hanzo searches super transformation. So now we have a Mirage transformation and super transformation. Look at this guys, draw phase. Our opponent's gonna try to get a Celestial. We Mirage transformation, which will take a card from your opponent's graveyard for tributing a ninja. Bring it to your field. He's technically a ninja now. This is our ninja. No plus two for you, you're in top deck mode. Opponent has to scoop. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are fighting Loomis and Umbra. Going first. He has no extra deck, 21 cards. You're using my monster cards. Always starting with Hanzo, not always, but a lot of the time. 
We also have an upstart. You do not want your yellow dragon ninja in your hand. He's pretty much useless. Now here, we're fighting another ninja. Guys, keep your ninja decks at 20. It's really tempting to go over 20 because of all the searching and milling and all that stuff. There's special summoning. It's really tempting to want to go over 20, but don't do it, guys. Just focus on the combos that work. Focus on the combos that are strong. Stick to 20 cards. Here, our opponent is super transformating our dragon ninja after we put another super transformation on the top of his deck. We get yellow ninja to bring out a shazank face down. Fantastic play. His yellow dragon ninja kills our yellow dragon or our yellow ninja. Shazank gets rid of that yellow dragon ninja. We're gonna alchemy that transformation. Normal summon Hanzo get another transformation after we have Shadow Ceiling in our hand. Shazank can attack directly to poke this boy. That triggers his light and dark. He gets to throw away an upstart ninja for a Hanzo. And then scoops. So he obviously didn't have any more plays. Ninja vs Ninja, my monster cards come out on top guys, great stuff. Okay, here we are facing a Yami Yugi, go in second. Finally using uh, some card sleeves, got that new Red Eyes card sleeves. So here I have a uh, Flame Armor Ninja and White Ninja who will eventually become Shazank and Upstart Ninja. I will eventually uh, use my dream ticket on upstart ninja to get one so i get rid of flame ninja and then i get rid of white ninja for shazank shazank just works a little better with upstart ninja and yellow ninja so anyway i get my plus two from my notebook i throw away a ninja to bring out alchemy that's an immediate plus two but you gotta sacrifice two cards to do it so it's you know it's kind of a lateral move but it's the same thing anyway he flips our Hanzo face down, which means we can't transform our boy. But that's okay, we got an Ibisu, we're gonna normal summon our Flame Armor Ninja, who ups his level. Didn't actually come in handy here, but if that was a level 3 monster, his effect would've made all the difference. So here our opponent's trying to uh, elemental training away his Molhu. That's gonna let us chain our transformation. He brings out a Molo. We couldn't let him bring out, let's say, a Lapalia, who will uh, negate our cards. And now we have a free ninja transformation to feel his banish there. We search Mirage transformation. We have another regular transformation. We're gonna banish our own Black Dragon Ninja and our own card to banish his Molhu. He was trying to use his Molhu's effect to flip us face down. So it's kind of complicated. When you banish yourself, whatever you banish comes back, but you get to choose its attack position or defense position. We put it in defense position, obviously, and then our Hanzo can swing right over him. So it works out a little better than having a face down uh, Black Dragon Ninja. Our opponent is in top deck mode, eventually has to scoop. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here's Sarah going second. This deck kind of wants to go first. My monster cards, beautiful, beautiful skill. Very, very strong. You're usually starting with the Hanzo. Eventually, I used my dream ticket on an upstart ninja and got rid of this uh, flame armor ninja. But flame armor ninja works pretty good with super transformation because he can raise his level, making uh, it a little easier to get to your yellow dragon ninja. So here, we're trying to trans. He tries to spirit master our Hanzo. We're gonna transform our Hanzo. He's gonna stop our transform with Dark Bride, but that gives us a plus one of a Yellow Ninja. We're gonna use that plus one to normal summon the Yellow Ninja, special summon the Sasuke. We set a ceiling and a Mirage, so pretty good stuff. Love the utility of these Arts and Traps cards since they're searchable, guys. It works out really great. Ninjas are fun, ninjas are fun, and ninjas are cool. And ninjas used to be top tier. They are not top tier still. They're not going to come back and be top tier all of a sudden. They're very strong still. It's very fun still. But it's not what they used to be, guys. So don't go crazy over Hanzo. Don't stress over this box too, too much. Wait and see how the Meliidas, or whatever those cards are called. Once we jump into those, see how those are. See if this box is worth it. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Thunderstep.